Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Logical Reasoning, Statement and Conclusion Set 2. Question number 1. Statements This world is neither good nor evil, each man manufactures a world for himself. Conclusions I some people find this world quite good. 2. Some people find this world quite bad. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The correct answer is. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The statement mentions that the world for a man is as he makes it himself. So, some people might find it good and some quite bad. Thus, both 1 and 2 follow. Question number 2. Statements. Any student who does not behave properly while in the school brings bad name to himself and also for the school. Conclusions. I such students should be removed from the school. 2. Stricter discipline does not improve behavior of the students. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. I cannot be deduced from the statement. Also, nothing about discipline is mentioned in the statement. So, neither I nor two follows. Question number three. Statements. A corporate general manager asked four managers to either submit their resignations by the next day or face termination orders from service. Three of them had submitted their resignations by that evening. Conclusions. I. The next day. The remaining manager would also resign. 2. The general manager would terminate his services the next day. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option C. Either one or two follows. It is mentioned in the statement that either the managers should resign by the next day or their services would be terminated. So, either one or two follows. Question number four. Statements. Only good singers are invited in the conference. No one without sweet voice is a good singer. Conclusions. I all invited singers in the conference have sweet voice. Two. Those singers who do not have sweet voice are not invited in the conference. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The correct answer is. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The statement asserts that a good singer always has a sweet voice and only good singers are invited in the conference. This implies that all those invited in the conference have sweet voice and those who do not have sweet voice are not invited. So, both 1 and 2 follow. Question number 5. Statements. To cultivate interest in reading. The school has made it compulsory from June this year for each student to read two books per week and submit a weekly report on the books. Conclusions I interest in reading can be created by force. 2. Some students will eventually develop interest in reading. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Clearly, 
the new scheme intends to develop interest in reading by incorporating the habit in their routine. So, only two follows while I does not. Question number 6. Statements. No country is absolutely self-dependent these days. Conclusions. I. It is impossible to grow and produce all that a country needs. 2. Countrymen in general have become lazy. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Only I provides a suitable explanation to the given statement. So, only I follows. Question number 7. Statements. The percentage of the national income shared by the top 10% of households in India is 35. Conclusions. I. When an economy grows fast, concentration of wealth in certain pockets of population takes place. 2. The national income is unevenly distributed in India. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Nothing about the growth of economy is mentioned in the statement. So, I does not follow. Also, it is given that 35% of national income is shared by 10% of households. This indicates unequal distribution. So, 2 follows. Question number 8. Statements. Players who break various records in a fair way get special prizes. Player X broke the world record but was found to be under the influence of a prohibited drug. Conclusions. I. X will get the special prize. 2. X will not get the special prize. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. X will not get the special prize because although he broke the world record, he was found to use unfair means. So, 2 follows while I does not. Question number 9. Statements. Company X has marketed the product. Go ahead. Purchase it if price and quality are your considerations. Conclusions. I. The product must be good in quality. 2. The price of the product must be reasonable. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The correct answer is. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. It is mentioned in the statement that one who considers price and quality before buying a product should buy the product of company X. So, both 1 and 2 follow. Question number 10. Statements. Quality has a price tag. India is allocating lots of funds to education. Conclusions. I quality of education in India would improve soon. 2. Funding alone can enhance quality of education. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. According to the statement. Funding is necessary to improve quality and India is allocating funds to education. This means that quality of education will improve in India. So, I follows. But funding alone is sufficient to enhance quality, is not true. So, 2 does not follow.
Question number 11. Statements. Although we have rating agencies like Chrysler, ICRA, there is demand to have a separate rating agency for IT companies to protect investors. Conclusions. I assessment of financial worth of IT companies calls for separate set of skills, insight and competencies. 2. Now the investors investing in IT companies will get protection of their investment. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is Option A. Only conclusion I follows. The need for separate rating agency for IT companies clearly indicates that such assessment requires a separate set of skills. So, I follows. However, the statement indicates only the need or demand and neither the future course of action nor its after effects can be judged. So, 2 does not follow. Question number 12. Statements. The standard of education in private schools is much better than municipal and Zilla Parishad run schools. Conclusions I. The municipal and Zilla Parishad should make serious efforts to improve standard of their schools. 2. All municipal and Zilla Parishad schools should be closed immediately. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. The solution to the problem is not to close down the municipal and Zilla Parishad run schools but to strive to improve the standard of education of these schools. So, only I follows while 2 does not. Question number 13. Statements. All the organized persons find time for rest. Sunita, in spite of her very busy schedule, finds time for rest. Conclusions. I Sunita is an organized person. 2. Sunita is an industrious person. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. The correct answer is. Option D. Both 1 and 2 follow. Sunita has a very busy schedule. This means that she is industrious. But still she finds time for rest. This means that she is an organized person. So, both 1 and 2 follow. Question number 14. Statements. Domestic demand has been increasing faster than the production of indigenous crude oil. Conclusions. I crude oil must be imported. 2. Domestic demand should be reduced. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. The statement mentions that demand for oil is increasing faster than the production. So, either the demand must be reduced or oil must be imported to cope with the increasing demand. Thus, either 1 or 2 follows. Question number 15. Statements. He stressed the need to stop the present examination system and its replacement by other methods which would measure the real merit of the students. Conclusions. I examinations should be abolished. 2. The present examination system does not measure the real merit of the students. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows.
the statement stresses the need to adopt a new method of examination. So, I does not follow. However, to directly follows from the given statement. Question number 16. Statements. Fashion is a form of ugliness so intolerable that we have to alter it every six months. Conclusions. I fashion designers do not understand the public mind very well. 2. The public by and large is highly susceptible to novelty. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. The statement asserts that people cannot stand any particular trend for long and seek change quite often. So, only 2 follows. Question number 17. Statements Until our country achieves economic equality, political freedom and democracy would be meaningless. Conclusions I political freedom and democracy go hand in hand. 2. Economic equality leads to real political freedom and democracy. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Nothing about the relation between political freedom and democracy is mentioned in the statement. So, I does not follow. But 2 directly follows from the given statement. Question number 18. Statements. The best evidence of India's glorious past is the growing popularity of Ayurvedic medicines in the West. Conclusions. I Ayurvedic medicines are not popular in India. 2. Allopathic medicines are more popular in India. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The popularity of Ayurvedic or allopathic medicines in India is not being talked about in the statement. So, neither I nor two follows. Question number 19. Statements. The average number of persons per household is 5 in urban areas whereas it is 7 in rural areas. The national average is 6. Conclusions. I. The population per unit area in the rural areas is higher than in the urban areas. 2. More persons live in the same household in the rural areas as compared to those in the urban areas. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. The population per household and not the population per unit area is being talked about in the statement. So, only 2 follows while I does not. Question number 20. Statements. Parents are prepared to pay any price for an elite education to their children. Conclusions. I all parents these days are very well off. 2. Parents have an obsessive passion for a perfect development of their children through good schooling. Option A. Only conclusion I follows. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. Option C. Either 1 or 2 follows. Option D. Neither I nor 2 follows. The correct answer is. Option B. Only conclusion 2 follows. The statement implies that people are inclined towards giving their children good education. So, only 2 follows while I does not. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now.
link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.